Helen, tell us a bit about the experience of space travel. It's been shown that just a few minutes in space already starts to cause changes in the body. How did it feel? The first feeling that you get, actually, when you start to feel weightless, as, you know, as soon as that final rocket stage sh shuts out, you're feeling weightless, even though you're still strapped into the seat. But I was aware that my back wasn't always in contact with the seat behind me. <laughs> um, so sometimes I was sort of more forcing forward on the, on the straps and sometimes not. Um, so the sweat, down the, my back could dry off a bit. So you realize then how hot you've become. Then it, fairly rapidly within the next few hours, you start to feel this fluid shift. So more fluid than normal tends to come towards the upper chest and head. But yes, some astronauts get headaches. And we all feel stuffy and you get these sort of fat puffy features. It's um, rather unattractively called chicken legs or bird legs puffy head. So, <laughs> um, but no, that that makes it sound really bad, and it's not really bad. Um, it is just the most glorious thing. You get that amazing camaraderie with the crew, and then looking out of the views as well, the views of, of Earth and the stars, of course. And yes, of course, like any job, there are the the very intense, focused moments and the slightly stressful moments. But there are also times of complete serenity, and I just remember it as being a very natural feeling. And while we miss our family and friends, and we miss the weather on earth you know the, the rain on your face and the wind in your hair somehow there's a sense of belonging in space wow as well.